So, I'm in here cooking up some breakfast. I got some slow frying bacon here. Turns out super crispy and delicious. And I rehydrated these hash browns here, so we're about to make some hash browns. Ooh, -wee, there we go. We got some beautiful eggs here. Them hash browns turned out absolutely gorgeous. Mm, that'll be good. Nice crispy bacon. Only thing I'm missing here is some Aunt Mama pancakes. Them been pulled from the shelves. So today I'm out here with Super Angler, Mrs. Chef at Hawkins Lake, trying to catch some bass. I'm hoping the Super Angler over here don't catch my ear with a hook. It's a gorgeous lake, Mrs. Chef. Oh, look at this house. It's about property here. Yeah. yeah. So many properties, which one you want to choose? So, over here is a uh, Italian restaurant right here on the lake. Might be somewhere checking out here in a little bit. What a cool lake. Never been here before and uh, I can sense that, uh, you sense the community aspect of this lake, don't you? I mean, the people out walking and waving at you, it's pretty cool. I really like it. So I've been showing you all the sides over here, the, the lake side, but the, all these boat houses I'm showing you have uh, actual houses houses. They're really nice. On the other side, this road here just kind of divides the lake house from the actual boat house on the lake. Southwest Airlines jet mm -hmm. as a mailbox. Yeah, <laughs> look at the house. Oh, yeah, it must be somebody who works for <laughs> South. Yeah, it's a big old mansion mm -hmm. house. Look at that. The doors up down to the roof area. There you go. There's your one for sale. You could fix that up. Yeah. That's cute. So I guess that house back there definitely uh, mm -hmm. Their little dock was a pilot or somebody for Southwest. So I'm out here in uh, Hawkins, Texas, I mean Indiana, shooting an episode of Stranger Things. No, we're in Texas. No, I'm shooting a feature uh, video, it be a pretty cool video coming up, and uh, I'm just showing you around Hawkins while I'm out here filming this other video. This is their little uh, war memorial area. So what we are looking at here is the world's first armor and close support attack helicopter. The AH-1. We start reading some of these signs here, it just goes to show you how many people were died and wounded and missing during some of these conflicts. This is the one that really stands out, the Civil War, because it's the most, and they're all American, you know? Pretty sad. So, seeing all those numbers and all really hits home to how bad war and conflict is, and 
really it makes you think about uh, all the conflicts going on in the world today and how bad they could be. So I want to say a thank you to all of our men and women in uniform uh, protecting this country from foreign and domestic uh, violence and affairs. Uh, really do appreciate you guys and the military uh, more than you could even know. So if you ever wondered where Ozarka water comes from, it comes from three separate springs, and one of them being here in Wood County. This is the Wood County Bottling Plant in Hawkins, Texas. Okay, so we're back. I was doing a filming, uh, some on-location stuff for a feature I'm going to be doing. It's going to take me a few days. Probably a week to get it all put together because it'll be a pretty good feature. But I'll try to show you all some lake pictures and different things from around this area that we end today filming. So we got back over here to this cabin, and I'm gonna be cooking up some chicken fried steak fingers. I don't know if I've ever done a chicken fried steak on here. Basically, what this is, this is uh, they take like round steak and uh, tenderize it so it's nice and tender. And uh, it's really expensive these days. This used to be just like throwaway meat, like a couple dollars a pound. Now it's eight ninety nine a pound for, for crappy meat. That's the, the world we live in today. So, so first things when you're making a chicken fried steak, is you need to soak your meat in some buttermilk. And I like using buttermilk and a little Tabasco. So I'm going to pour that over here. And let this soak in for a little bit. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to put this off in the cooler again for about an hour and let it really... The, the acid and all in the buttermilk really breaks the meat down, makes it super tender. That's why you're doing this. And then, like I said, I like to put a little Tabasco on there. Take a little Tabasco here. I got the cayenne flavor, garlic. Pour some of that in here. It's just so thick, it likes to clog up the top of the bottle, so. That should be enough. And we're gonna massage all that in there. Okay. Those off in the fridge and we're going to the next tip here in about an hour. One more step I'm gonna do, I forgot, before we throw these off in the chili here. I'm gonna crack this egg here, mix it in good so that the coating of flour will stick. Okay, so it's been about five beers later, uh, six beers later, I'm sorry. Pulled this out of the fridge. I'm gonna wrap these here potatoes up with some tin foil here. Throw them over our open coals. Okay, so what I'm doing here is throwing some wrapped up ten or four potatoes over this open coals here. This makes the absolute best potatoes, but you got to watch them because they'll burn up pretty fast. So we can come back in about six minutes, flip them over, and uh, they don't take long. Well, I was just able to check my email, and uh, it says I entered the state fair contest for fried food. They do a fried food contest, and I and then my crawfish stingers as one of the entries. And they just sent me an email saying the State Fair of Texas is canceled. I can't believe that, but I can't believe it. So, one of the things we have tonight is uh, Zatarain's, this is new, Cheddar Garlic Biscuit Mix. I'm going to try this product out. You will need... One cup of milk, one cup of shredded chopped cheddar cheese, eight tablespoons of melted butter. That's a lot of butter. So, we're going to make this up. Mr. Chef's going to make this up. And um, this should be pretty damn good, I'm thinking. I love Zatarain product. Now, some of you folks have asked for longer videos. Well, the chef is here to deliver because this video might be the longest video I ever posted.
Since 12 biscuits. 12 biscuits. Okay, so tonight we're going to make Pioneer Great Country Gravy Mix. I showed y'all how to make gravy from scratch several times, so we're going to make a package version. So in here we got a little seasoned salt, a little garlic, a little black pepper, and I'm going to put just a little extra salt, sea salt in there, and our flour. And that's going to be our dredge for them beautiful steak fingers. So here we go, it's our beautiful steak fingers here. Looking beautiful as only they can look. I've been ready for about two hours now, so let's go ahead and dredge these in this beautiful flour dredge we got, all seasoned up here. What I like to do here is I like to press these down, make them flatter than they actually are. Then you add some body to them, they look like a whole lot more meat than they actually are. I'm making one hell of a mess here because this bowl ain't big enough for what I'm trying to do. But see, that's one of them fritters. See how big it is now? It's like a whole chicken fry steak. There we go. Let's throw this here in the grease. Mm, that's going to be delicious. The first one there is looking pretty righteous. Let's go ahead and give it a flip. Oh, looky there. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'd like to see you try to find a bit of chicken fries in there. That's about as chicken fried as chicken fried gets right there. That's beautiful. Ain't no batter coming off that, that's for sure. Delicious. I mean, damn. If you've been watching my channel for a while, it don't matter if it's down home southern country style food a filet mignon with crab oscar I deliver I mean damn doesn't that look delicious there's some potatoes right off the coals out there them beautiful biscuits by Zatarans made up some corn and a beautiful chicken fried steak so I'm out here at the picnic table got my fire over here this is just wonderful Chicken fries, absolutely awesome. Mmm. It's absolutely gorgeous out here tonight. If the front came through, you can see the stars. Got my blazing fire here. It just absolutely feels perfect out tonight. Let's see if I can focus in on some of these stars here, but it's just perfect. And you know that's right. 